We're going on a trip to our favorite elven ship. Going through the trees to Nolish Tree. Hello everybody, this is Dez Hawks at the Fair Get Daddy. And guys, the, today's episode of High Rollers, um, I'm probably putting this in the title. But um, spoilers for episode 72, I'm pretty sure this is. If not, then I'll... It's in the title, you know. Uh, but anyways... Oh my god, okay, so a lot happened this episode, quite a few things, but I, I need to talk about the number one thing, the number one thing that happened this episode, because like, here's, alright, here's the thing, it's been over a, a year since we last saw Nelly Street, I know this because Facebook reminded me of the memes I posted when the lore became half canon, and like, I'm pretty sure if I go over to, uh, my old video, uh, the, where I talk about Nalora becoming half canon, um, that, that's gonna be over a year old now. Uh, I, I highly doubt it's like exactly, yeah, it's definitely not exactly a year old, but, yeah, still, it's, it's close enough, but anyways, today, it is no longer half canon, but full canon, boys, it finally, we finally did it, okay, I just really want to talk about this scene, because this is, this scene is just, it's just perfect, okay, it is just perfection, basically, what happened is, um, uh, Alright, basically, uh, goddamn, sorry, Mark Kim's talking on Discord again, uh, I don't, the, the bloopers, anyways, if I put in blooper, the bloopers, anyways, so, uh, here's what happened. So, alright, it starts out with, um, with, like, crew, basically, alright, the moment we see Nelly Street again, like, everybody, I mean everybody, Trot, Kim, even Tom, who has no idea what the hell is going on here, he, they, they all, they are all trying to, they are all hinting at the lore. They want a canon just as much as we do. Just as much as I do. Mark wants it. Everybody in this group wants it canon. And, I mean, that's pretty goddamn fucking understandable because, well, it's the lore. But anyway, like, like, the development of this ship is, is per, it was, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. And, um, another thing, I'm hoping... That when the series ends, uh, Katie, like, if Katie still has the notes from Nelly Street and or the letters she wrote back to Nelly Street, I hope to God she releases them, like, at the end of the, when the series, after the series ends. Because that, that would just be everything. Because we saw a part of Nelly Street's letter, but that's, that is all we ever saw. But yeah, um, hopefully, hope to God we see more when the series ends. But, um, anyways, but yeah. Uh, anyways, Nelly, anyways, uh, the whole crew makes Elora talk to Nelly Street alone, and they're in the library and stuff, which, perfect, prefer Nelly Street, and, you know, they talk about how, like, care for each other, and how, like, Nelly Street is fucking worried about this girl, okay? He was worried, and I'm like, my son! <laughs> it was, it was, like, he was, like, legitimately worried, like, when they first met, when, like, Elora and the crew first walked in, Nelly Street stood up, and it's like, why didn't you write back? Because, like, apparently... Because, like, apparently, we didn't see the letter, but apparently what was in that letter, 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 was, like, um, that was some crazy-ass shit. Okay, and basically, it's, like, me, um, like, they were in danger and stuff, and he was, like, freaking out, because he, he was probably worried that his girl is, um, is, uh, not, it, is, might, might just fucking die, which is understandable, I would be worried, too. But, yeah, anyways, uh, uh, so, um, basically, alright. Yeah, uh, okay, uh, uh, this moment is just so perfect, alright, so basically, alright, back to the library, they're talking stuff, and, like, basically talking, like, if, um, uh, any, if anything bad happens, I will try to write to you, make sure you, make sure I let you know that I'm okay and stuff, and it's, like, good, because, uh, I can, I can fly now, and also talking about how they'll protect, 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 like, uh, like, Nelly's just gonna protect, protect, like, people she cares about and stuff, and it's, like, Nelly's just, like, I can fly now. That, that, that sounded better in my head. That, that's, that's, that's really awkward to talk about. And he's rambling. He is... Boy is rambling. I, I noticed this, like, the, about the like fourth or fifth time I watch it. Because, of course, I'm going to watch it over and over again. But he... I, I just noticed that he was rambling. When Nalora, like, went in... No, 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 wait, no, wait, no, wait. Never mind, never mind. Wait, not, no, not yet, not yet. Basically, Nalishri, like, really awkward, went to the desk, created a snow flower, or a nice flower, whatever. A nice rose. Or snow rose, whatever. And like, and just put it there. No one's offering it, knowing it's for her. It's like, he said, something to, you know, remember me by or a symbol or something. I, I'm, I'm really, I'm just really happy, okay? And, um, basically, 
Nalora, El Nalora, Alora went to the table and made a flower for him too because you know druid, and it's like, and like she's like, I'll I'll let you, I'll try to, I'll try to make sure you know if I'm okay and stuff. It's like, and then he's like, good because if you don't, I can lit I will literally fight you. I can do that now. That sounded a lot better in my head. And then boy starts rambling, like I said. And Elora just leans in and gives him a light peck on the cheek. And oh, I start, I screamed so loud that no matter where the hell you are in this world, hell, if you are somehow on a different planet or a different universe, pretty goddamn fucking sure you heard me. Because that's how loud I screamed, okay? And like, Everybody and like everybody in chat was freaking out. Everyone in Discord was freaking out. I was freaking out. My friend Jeff it was freaking out. I like that whole entire time I was shaking. I couldn't. I I couldn't chat to anybody. I could barely talk to Jeff because I was shaking so much. And basically, and like everyone, like everyone was freaking out. And, and uh, even even Kim and Tom were even Kim and Tom. Kim was like, uh, she was fangirling. Like she had to hold her screams in because I'm pretty sure she was about to about to scream just as loud as I was. And be, and like that moment, I I will never get over this moment. Okay, I will never get over this moment. It was just so precious, and I am so glad it's canon. She gave him a kiss on the lips. I would have settled with a kiss on the cheek, a kiss on the forehead, a kiss on the nose, a kiss on the motherfucking hand. I would accept accepted any of those, just a simple kiss, or at least a hug. I would have accepted a hug, but no, my girl Katie, she went for the lips. She made it canon. I am so happy right now. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know. Thank you, Mark Humes. Thank you, Katie Morrison. Thank you, everyone who made this fucking canon. Thank you. Thank you, Jeebus. Thank you. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm I'm a mess, okay? But yeah, that's pretty much the video. I just really want to talk about this moment because it was such a great moment. Go check out this moment right now on the Twitch VOD. Right the fuck now, okay? The entire moment. Because the lead the build up the build up to the kiss was perfect. It was just perfect and it gave me it, it, it's a fucking canon. I waited a year for this and it was worth it. It was so worth it for this scene alone. But yeah, that was this <laughs> That's my video guys. Thank you guys for watching. Um you do you ship no Laura? Do you not? Uh do you have any other ships you hope to come canon? Tell me down in the comments below. I sure know uh I have a ton. But Nolora is definitely up there in like the top three. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace.